Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Um, the daily vlogging continues, I'm doing my best to keep up. Uh, I had my doubts about this weekend, but I'm here in my tennis office trying to make it happen. So uh, thanks for you who come back and watch all the videos, or most of them, really appreciate you. And for you others, please subscribe and uh, be a loyal tennis nerd, thanks. Um, today I wanted to talk about Angel tennis rackets. Maybe you've tried them, maybe you have never heard of them. Um, it's uh, the brainchild of Paul Angel, used to be called Vantage and uh, he now has rackets under his own name since quite a few years back. Um, makes a custom line, TC Custom, they're called where you can get your own specs, you can choose the grip shape, you can choose the grip size obviously, weight, balance and uh, you can have one-on-one -on -one kind of contact with Paul as well so you get a proper you know swing weight or if you're buying several rackets you can get them matched and so on great guy uh, great products uh, can only recommend him uh, because I've been a customer myself for a while uh, always appreciated that you could get your own specs uh, for those frames so um, Angel a very interesting brand in my opinion um, I've done videos on them in the past but they don't get a lot of use because people don't really know about them and they don't sponsor uh, a lot of tennis players and so on so uh, they're not gonna be in the spotlight as much but if you're a tennis nerd I think there is a high risk that you've been that you've heard of them um, I did a video with um, my buddy Daniel from Germany where he um, switched from uh, the Prince Phantom 93P to a new Angel TC97 custom and we, we talk about the process we talk about the pros and cons with the rackets as well always they're always pros and they're always cons to every racket pretty much you try so um, check that out if you haven't seen it and uh, Daniel hits a pretty massive ball as well so it's nice to watch him play uh, but I have two rackets here that I'm, I'm, I've just received I'm ready to string them up and take them to the court I will take a rest day today I've been every day playing for a, a week now or so and uh, I just want to take a rest day go to the gym go sit on an exercise bike and uh, try to kind of focus on rehabbing a little bit because you start to feel sore after playing every day. Yesterday I played twice, uh, which is a bit nuts, but uh, I have a hard time saying no to tennis if I have the possibility to play. And it's been uh, sunny here in Malta, it's, it's really nice weather this week, so um, you just have to kind of seize the day, right? And I know a lot of you are in lockdown and uh, or their tennis, closed, uh, tennis courts are closed, Feel, I feel for you, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty much nightmarish situation but we'll get out of it with the whole Covid ordeal and uh, the issue it's put on the world. Uh, but let's not talk about that, it's boring stuff, uh, let's talk about Angel Rackets. So uh, they've uh, redone the paint um, but also created a new uh, version of the K7 line. So the K7 line, I've reviewed the red which is, which is the 1619-98 square inch racket. Uh, that I really enjoyed, very plush, uh, very comfortable for the arm. So if you have arm issues, check out the K7 series. They have aramid fiber in the layup, which uh, really kind of kills any vibration. They are quite muted, so if you're a feedback guy, I don't think this is the racket line for you. Uh, but if you really value comfort and a plush feel, I think the Angel K7 series are great options. Uh, but they have a new um, racket in the line and it's called Cyan or uh, I don't know how you pronounce it 100% uh, you have to bear with my English it looks like this blue and uh, pretty pretty nice it's based on the pay on the color of course um, I think this uh, looks clean uh, has a pretty solid feel I've already put this on the three-in-one machine uh, I think Chuck said that you, uh, there's no point, I'm just wasting everyone's time. When I measure unstrung uh, swing weights, um, uh, in my opinion, the unstrung swing weight is more important because when you change the gauge of the string, you also change the weight of the string and it could differ between string brands. There's a heavy string, for example, like Headlinks Tour adds a lot of swing weight to the frame and you go with a, like a multi-filament string and it's a completely different swing weight because multi-filament string weighs a lot less than polyester strings on average. So uh, I don't really agree with that sentiment uh, that it's a waste of time. So I will keep um, telling you the swing weight of unstrung rackets as well and I measure them now I'm gonna string them up with the strings I received uh, for the test it's become quite popular that the manufacturers 
have a string with each racket launch. I'm not sure it's a great idea, but it's, it seems to make sense that you're not a super, you don't have a string that you use. You can just use the kind of recommended manufacturer string, uh, save some time for you. In the Cyan case, it's the Cyan Soft, softer polyester in the package here, um, 1.20 gauge. So I'm gonna string that in this, uh, I assume it's blue, so it will probably look pretty cool. But before I string it, um, let's look at the specs. So this one came in above the spec, but first the listed ones, 300 grams, 10.6 ounces, um, balance uh, 32.7 centimeters or 307 millimeters, uh, which is around five points uh, headlight and um, stiffness is 67. So if you string it, you're gonna drop a few points down to 64, so mid 60s, pretty comfortable for a 100 square inch racket. It is 100 square inches. And the thing with this one, this is the XL version. So it's the extended 27.5 inch length or 698 centimeters. Uh, that's not right at all, 69.8 centimeters. Um, people usually say millimeters. I, I uh, kind of resort uh, back to centimeters. Carbon obviously in the frame, 1619 string pattern and the aramid in the layup to make it really comfortable on the arm uh, with a pretty nice plush feel. Um, sweet looking frame, uh, we'll see if the extended uh, length will be a problem for me. Uh, sometimes it feels normal and great, sometimes it's just weird on the contact point, depends a little bit on the specs of the racket and the kind of design as well because uh, the way they design the throat, if it's aerodynamic and so on, if it has a thin beam, this, this beam is pretty thin. Uh, so definitely a more control oriented 100 square inch racket, this one. Um, so the specs I got, uh, they were 306 grams, so uh, six grams above this listed specs, 32.2 um, centimeter balance and a 304 swing weight, uh, which is pretty reasonable swing weight for uh, extended length frame. As soon as you have extended frames, you're gonna bump up the swing weight quite a bit. Swinging it will be a bit rougher or tougher uh, and require more, but you get plow through, you get extra reach obviously, so there are benefits to extended rackets. Not being the tallest guy in the history of the universe, uh, I can or should probably play with extended frames, but I have not really gotten used to them and the way when I test so many frames, it would make more of a hassle for me to go back from 27.5 down to 27 inches all the time and, and just it would probably mess up my timing even more than just trying standard length rackets. But I think extended length rackets um, can be more popular uh, than they are. I don't think many people try them. I know a lot of manufacturers avoid them so they don't really have them in their lineup. Um, I got a question about the Dunlops uh, the other day and, uh, and I'm not sure whether they will keep with their 200 plus, which they had, uh, which was an extended length racket. It seems like it's, it's quite hard to sell them, but um, we'll see. So the new K7 Cyan XL, uh, really keen to test this one, uh, should be good for my sore arm, uh, which is not getting much better if I'm playing every day and with new strings and rackets, but I'm mainly testing pretty comfortable frames now. This should also be pretty comfortable and I will string it up and give you the specs of that as well. Uh, that's not enough. I also have another XL frame, the K7 Lime in a new paint, uh, a little bit less retro than the previous one. I really enjoy the previous uh, paint of this one, but this one is extended as well, so 27.5 inches. Uh, so we'll be keen to compare this one and that one and see uh, if I get more control from this smaller head size. Uh, let's go through the specs quickly. 315 grams or 11 point 11 ounces. Um, balance is 31.8 centimeters, 10 points head light. 64 RA stiffness, drops down to 61, 60 when you had strings. Head size 98 square inches, a little bit more controlled. And length 27.5 inches uh, or 69.8 centimeters. Comes with Aramid 1820 string pattern, a bit tighter string pattern uh, for a little bit more control. And um, yeah, super keen on this one, will be a lot of fun to try it. And uh, the specs, uh, I checked this one out that, also a little bit above spec, about the same. Maybe Paul just thought I should play with heavier frame because I always complain about adding weight and so on, I don't know. Uh, but 322.4 grams, 31.8 centimeters, so spot on with the balance. 
and a 318.5 swing weight. So an uh, unstrung swing weight of almost 320. This will be beastly to swing around 350. Now we're getting up into kind of Diego Schwartzman territory, what he's using, although he's using 28 inches, but he's up really high 350, 60 swing weight. As a lot of other pros uh, like Murray and stuff, they, they don't use extended length, but they use really hefty swing weight. So this will require some good footwork and preparation to get this racket moving, but I look forward to testing it. Uh, and uh, I really enjoyed the previous uh, K7 Lime. So this one, the Excel version will be interesting to compare. Uh, with. Uh, so uh, interesting rackets from Angel. They have a bunch of different rackets. You can check out their website angeltennis.com. Um, they have their ASL line which is a little bit more power oriented. They have the custom where you can get even a 90 square inch racket up to 105 I think or 101 at least. Uh, so there's a wide range of rackets and they're all high quality usually come in pretty close to spec. So uh, I can only recommend those frames. Uh, for the K7 Lime, I will use le, uh, the Halo Lime Hex, uh, so six-sided co-poly, uh, not soft as the other one, a bit more controlled, which might be needed for this hefty swing weight. Uh, so that's, that's all for this uh, Angel K7 update preview. Um, we'll take them on court ASAP and give you some feedback on what I think about these frames. Uh, I have a bunch of other frames obviously lying around as well that needs testing. The Dunlop CX line released the 200 first impressions yesterday. I will need to try the other ones as well, 400 and 200 Tour. I also have a bunch of Prince frames uh, that I haven't shown you yet, which will be revealed in coming videos. And uh, so, yeah, so a lot of testing going on in the Tennis Nerd headquarters. And uh, meanwhile, I need to stay healthy so I don't get injured and, and can't play test these frames. That's all for this vlog. I hope you're having a good weekend and um, don't forget to play some tennis.